Hello everyone, my name is Abhijit and you are watching Tech Guide. Today in this video, I will let you know all the details regarding Zoom Cloud Meeting app and in this lockdown, this app has become very popular among the student, teachers, colleagues and all the people are using this particular app. So today in this video, I will let you know all the details like how you can start a meeting, how to join a meeting, how you can share your screen with your student or colleague. So you can watch this video till the very end to know all the details regarding Zoom Cloud meeting app. And also if you find this video helpful, then like, share and subscribe to our Tech Guide YouTube channel. So the very first step is to download Zoom app which is available in the Apple Store and Play Store. So the link will be provided in the description box. You can check that out. After that you can click on open and you will see here few options which is join a meeting, sign up and sign in. And since we are new to this app so we have to create our account and for that I will use my existing Google account. For that you have to just click on sign in and here you can see Google option just click on that and select your gmail account from which you want to create an account and just click on create account and within few seconds your account will be created and this is the best step through which you can create your account and here you can see many options which are also available on your laptop so the things will be same i will just demonstrate everything so don't worry now before we talk about creating new meeting let me talk about how you can join a meeting so for that you have to click on join a meeting and here you have to enter the meeting ID which will be shared by your teacher or any of the person who is hosting this video and also you have to enter the password that they will be sharing with you. Apart from that you get an option of a schedule a meeting where you can input the name of the meeting, date, time and all the details which you are seeing over here you can select that. And also you get an option of adding this event to your calendar which is very convenient option to have. Lastly you get an option to share your screen which is convenient for the people who want to share their PPT along with the other details so you can use this particular option. You have to just input your meeting ID along with the password so you can start in this particular way. Moving on you get an option to add to contact through your email through your phone number which will be very convenient if you have to share the links. So you can check this option too. Next you get few more options in the lower part. The first option is meeting. So if you click on this, you will get your personal ID which you can edit anytime and along with you can share, you can invite also and start your meeting anytime. Next you also get your contact option. So in case you want to add contacts from your phone, from your email, you can use this option anytime. Lastly you get an option of setting also in which you will be seeing your chats and all the basic details in this particular option. Now let's start a meeting. For that you have to just click on new meeting and here you can see the video option is on by default and here you can see your personal meeting ID. I will just click on this and start a meeting. And since we are doing this for the very first time so we have to give permission for our microphone access for the camera access. So you have to just allow and your meeting will be started. After that you will see two important things that is meeting ID along with the password. And these two details are to be shared with your student or with the person you want to add into the meeting. For the demonstration, I am using my second phone and I have clicked on join a meeting. I have entered my meeting ID along with the password and I have just clicked on join a meeting. And after a few seconds, you can see that I have joined into the meeting and also you will get two options whether you want to switch on your video or not. So you can select accordingly as per your need. So till now you have understood how you can start a meeting and how to join into the meeting. I'm taking an example of a student and a teacher. Let's suppose this is the smartphone of a student. So whatever he want to show to the teacher, the teacher will be seeing all the video footage that he is showing. The same thing applies for the teacher also. If he want to show something to his student, then definitely he can do the same thing. Now during the meeting, if you want to see anyone, then you can simply slide and you can see all the participants that are into the meeting. Now in the last section of this video we will talk about few advanced features which is very important and you have to know during the meeting. These features will be same for student and teachers means the people who has started the meeting and the people who has joined from their end the things will be same. So the very first setting is audio means if you want to mute or unmute your audio you can simply click on this. Apart from that if you want to switch off your video or you want to switch on your video you can select on this particular option. The third option is to share. If you click on this, you get an option to share your document, pictures and all the details that you are seeing. We will talk about two most important things. The first one is whiteboard and the second one is screen share. So if you want to write anything, you can select a whiteboard option 
and you will see this type of interface as opened which is completely white you can write anything and the student will be seeing those things and one thing you have to keep in mind that the student also can write so you have to consider this thing next for a screen share you have to click on a share then you have to click on a screen share you have to give the permission and this way you can share your screen with your students with your colleague and they will be able to see your screen so in case if you are going to present something in the form of ppt so this option will be very helpful and to stop this you have to just slide and click on stop next option is participants once you click on this you can invite anyone who are not into the meeting for that you can email you can share or you can copy this link and paste into the whatsapp once they receive the whatsapp message they can simply click and select the zoom app and they will be redirected to the zoom application and they can come into the meeting within a very few seconds so this way you can add more participant into your meeting apart from that if you want to mute the audio call of all the participants so you can use this option you can chat also you can unmute also so these things are very important which come under the participants option lastly you get an option of more in which you can click and see that you can discontinue your audio you can praise you can give thumbs up and also you get meeting setting option here all the advanced things are mentioned if you are in need so you can tweak these options also now many time it happens that you have pressed back button or home button or power button and your meeting has discontinued so if you want to resume the meeting you will see this option and you can click and the meeting will be resumed and the last option is to switch your front and back camera for that on the top portion you can see this option once you click over here then your back camera will be switched on and if you want to switch back to front camera so you can tap on this the front camera will be switched on so this was all the details regarding zoom cloud meeting app i hope you got all the details that you were searching for but in case if you have any doubt into your mind then please feel free to comment below also you can follow me on instagram you can chat with me and if you find this video helpful then like share with your friends with your teachers and for new members please subscribe to my channel so that's it thanks a lot for watching